Hey everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to get started with the plugin development for the IntelliJ based platform. There are a couple of workflows for developing plugins such as Gradle, GitHub template and plugin dev kit. In this video I am going to use Gradle workflow. I will be using Java for developing the plugin but IntelliJ supports other JVM based programming languages as well such as Kotlin. So what is a plugin? Plugins are a way to extend the IntelliJ platform. IntelliJ provides a very rich platform SDK that we can use to develop, build, test, run and deploy a plugin to the JetBrain Marketplace repository. In this video, I will show you how to create a simple Hello World menu item and add it to various IntelliJ IDE menus. I will be using actions for doing this. Actions are the most common way for a user to invoke the functionality of a plugin so let's get started first of all go to open your IntelliJ ID and uh, click on new project and select the project SDK specify the Java version and select the Java and IntelliJ platform plugin checkboxes and hit the next button then give a name to your project so I will give it hello world plugin and then click finish then the project will be opened in the ID so now your project will ha also have one source folder inside that you will have main and resources and meta inf file then this plugin.xml file is kind of like the config file for your plugin and uh, yes so for an action to be available on the IntelliJ UI it needs to be registered and have code implementation so action has two parts first registration and second uh, implementation so we can register an action either by listing it in the plugin.xml file or through code in this video I will be registering via XML via plugin.xml config file so registration of an action determines where it would appear in the IntelliJ IDE UI so we can list the action under actions section so action has three mandatory attributes so first is ID so, ID attribute specifies the unique identifier for the action. So, I will give it a name as hello world. And the second mandatory attribute is class. And uh, class attribute specifies the fully qualified name of the class implementing the action. So, I will give it the name as actions dot hello world action so i will be implementing this class later in this tutorial and the third mandatory field is text and text attribute uh, defines the text to be displayed for the action on the ui so i will give it a name as hello world and then And then we also need to specify one add to group element. So add to group element is used to add the action to an existing group. So we can specify uh, various group ID here as you can see. So we can add our action to tools menu uh, and many other menus of the IntelliJ ID. So I will first select tools menu just to show you how will appear in the ID and then we can also specify one anchor attribute so anchor attribute uh, uh, specifies the position where your action will appear within the group so this regist registration part is completed now we will move on to the implementation part I will create one package called actions 
and inside this action I will create one Java class or hello world action and I will extend this class with an abstract class called an action so we need to extend it with an with this an action class and overwrite one action performed method this is the only mandatory method which we need to uh, implement so in our case I will be showing one message box when when the user uh, will click on our action so in the message I will just say hello world and for the title I will just show info we can override other method as well such as update and you can see that uh, this action perform method receives one uh, parameter an action event so this object contains information about the current context for the action and it can be used to access projects and files so I think implementation part is also completed now we will go ahead and uh, execute the run id task of the gradle so this task will build compile our plugin project and run it i will open one existing project as you can see uh, hello world appears but it is disabled at the moment because indexing is happening let's wait a couple of seconds minutes once the index uh, will be completed then we will be able to see this hello world action so this is our basic plugin example so i just extended the intellij id and i added one hello world action within the tools when tools menu there you go it's completed yeah so now you can see that it is enabled and when I will click on this uh, I will see this message box which I created so you can also see that our plugin project is running and we can uh, close this stop stop our project and we can go to our config file, plugin config file and we can add this action to other menus as well. I will show you how to edit it inside the editor pop-up menu and go first and also show you how to add it inside project view pop-up menu let's run it again Now you can see it is our, our action hello world is available 
inside the project view pop-up menu as well if we click on it then we will we can see the same message box and if we if we open it uh, on if we right click on the editor then we can see the hello world action inside the editor pop-up menu as well if we click on it then uh, we will see the same message info box so that's all for this uh, tutorial i hope you liked it and please subscribe to my channel and i will be creating more intelligent plugin development related videos in future thanks bye